Hey guys, um, it's your buddy James. How's it going? Hope everybody's good. Um, I, I, I have this is kind of a weird video, but I'm done. I'm, I'm getting rid of all the modelers, profilers, um, out of the studio. Um, I'm, so, I'm going to sell my Axe Fex. I'm going to sell the Kemper. I'm keeping the Helix. I, the Helix floor I use, I play at church, and I'm gigging now with a Top 40 band, and I'm using it. It's, you know, they're silent stages, and the Helix floor is cool. It's got everything I need, and it's great. Um, But I am selling this, and, and I'll tell you, there's been something... There's been something about about it that has been not working for me, and and you know I I put them both up for sale a couple of times in the last few weeks, and then I, I I'm like oh they're cool I don't you know I think about my the way I like to write songs with them or whatever but um and uh, today. I've been chatting with this guy that's got this rectifier for sale. Uh, it's a dual watt, or dual rectifier multi-watt. And you know, I, I sold mine and I ended up, you know, I've been using a Mark V for maybe the past six months. And the Mark V is cool, it's a great amp. But lately it's, I don't know, like I'm just like, kind of been bumming on, I, I've been missing the rectifier anyway. And I've been kind of hemming and hawing with this guy about getting it. And anyway, I went down today to play it, and I was in his garage, and he had a Marshall 412. And man, it was fun, man. It was like it was fun. I, it, it, it took everything for me to not just crank it. He said you can crank it, but you know his wife's in the house. I didn't want to crank it, but it took everything <laughs> for me not to crank it. But it it was a weird. It was a it was a it was a cool experience. It was like, I don't know. It was just a weird experience. And I came back and I, I recorded it here. I'm not, it's not running through the system. So you're not going to hear it coming out of pro tools. You're just going to hear it through the blue mic, but yeah, there's just a little something I recorded, uh, recorded. Oh yeah. It's just, it's just gangsta. And that's channel three. Here's channel two vintage. That's real nice. And I did a little clean thing, just a little stereo clean with the PT 100 and the recto. I was just kind of testing right and left and checking the, the delay levels. Anyway, it sounds great. Here, I'll show you a picture of it, and then we're going to get on with our story. Oh. So it doesn't have the diamond plate front. There's also a Rev G triple with the black diamond, the black, <coughs> whatever they call it, like the diamond plate. It looks great, but I didn't really want an old. I didn't really want a G. I wanted really a multi for what I do. It's more useful. So the, yeah, this is basically my rig, right? You know, I've got the old seventy-seven. I've got the PT one hundred, the multi, and the matchless, and then you know, basic eight hundred eight and you know, EQs and whatever king of tone. I got the Strymon trio. With with the new Big Sky though the MX it's really nice and and then I've also got the H90 and so over here which you're cut out of the photo maybe apropos maybe it was an omen is the Kemper and uh, a brand not brand new but I've had it maybe six months uh, an Axe FX three MK two turbo loaded they're both loaded. Um, with all the best everything, I got all the IRs and Buddy, Buddy, whatever, whatever the guy's name is. I can only keep thinking Buddy Rich, Austin Buddy, all his presets in the Fractal, and I've got all Michael Britt's profiles, and 
in, in the Kemper and so but here's so here's here's what's occurred to me and you know I may be extremely late to this party and you know I think I've heard a lot of people say this over time so the reason I'm doing this is because the thing that's not working for me is all the all the all the champ all the amps all the choices all the IRs all of the it's not working for me um you know it just doesn't work for me it just doesn't work for me it's like end of story so that's the story it just doesn't work for me and what happens is i open them up and i i just don't have fun with it cuz it's not it's not where i it's not uh, it's not where my talent and my um excitement land and um yeah I'm like a stream of consciousness kind of person with music and I don't know like it's just got to I am so much better simple and um yeah so anyway coming back coming back with that that uh that rectifier and firing it up and and the front is cool it's it's called alligator skin or something it's like a black it's cool though but it's, you could see it it's not the diamond plate but anyway the, i come back and i'm i'm playing it and it's just like it's electrifying it's it's electrifying I, i'm not listening to it through the monitors i got the door open and it's just like dunk, dunk, like my <laughs> soul thumping and I was like, it was just so strange. It was just so strange. I had no intention of going through this metamorphosis today. No intention. Yeah, but it happened. And then I was like, oh yeah, this is over. And that's just it. I, I, I just, you know... I'm just, I, I, this is, this is it. Like, you know, maybe sell all this stuff and get a little deluxe reverb or that's it. Like that's more than all the sounds I'll need from the rest of my life <laughs> for the music I make. And, you know, and I've got the Helix and that's what I was thinking too. I could, you know, I can have the Helix integrated into the system. So if I'm songwriting and I just want to like, use that but even that i'm thinking of just maybe going di and using you know one or two of those those neural dsp plugins um i got the one i, I bought i got a you know a, a a demo of it it was really nice to whatever i don't know what the heck it's called it's one of those like Vintage or that those like boutique amp things. I can't think of what it's called, but but or, or not even or not even so But that's it. So I Had I put everything I put the fractal up for sale I Put the Kemper up for sale both with expression pedals both in mint condition. I have all the original boxes for the fractal and I put the mark 5 up for sale and I also have this this line six power cab i'm not i don't need it you know it's terrible i hate this thing i hate the way it's i just it was funny i was learning the songs with the helix you know for this show coming up on saturday and the more i played with this thing the more i was like i want to get rid of it. i hate this helix like i was i was hating what i was hearing and then I was like, well, wait a second. I, I know it's not that bad. So anyway, then I plugged it into Pro Tools and played it. I was like, oh, yeah, it sounds fine. It's the cabinets just, I don't know. I don't know where any of them get this FRFR. They all just have a sound, you know, just like anything, right? 
I did have the Laney one that was nice, but it was 212 and it weighed like 400 pounds. And it was like, a, it had handles on the side, like a little half, like a little slant cab. It was really weird. But I don't need any of it. I don't care. I play at church. It's silent. I'm playing with these top 40 bands, it's silent. And that's it. And if I get into a rock band and, you know, we're a rock band, then I'll go buy a, you know, 5150 combo, call it a day. Put together a little pedal board and, you know, sling a Les Paul and sing, sing Surrender by Cheap Trick. You know, I who cares, man? You know, but that's what I, that's, this is huge, you know, and it's, and, and I'm not looking for anything anymore with it. I'm done. You know, I'm, and you guys know I've been like on this, this thing, you know, I've been going through this and it's not, you know, it's like, it's not the tone X that I need or the quad core. It doesn't matter. I, I don't want any of it. I don't want any of it. I don't care how good it is. I want, I want a few choice sounds that make sense to me for, the, for, for what I do for a living and for what inspires me. You know, everything's right there, you know? And if I wanted to, you know, I don't know, whatever. Maybe maybe get one of those little UA, they have the one that's like a little Vox and a little deluxe reverb or whatever. Get that here for songwriting if I don't. That's the only thing about, about like on songwriting days, if I'm writing all day, it's four, five, six hours maybe. I don't necessarily want my matchless on all day. It's just, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it on all day. So, but there it is. I mean, this this is this is it. And um, and you know, I demoed the, the Mark V against the Rectifier, and, and you know, the Mark V is a great amp. The Rectifier just is inspiring sounding to me personally, and. Um, Everything, you know, it's just, I don't know, it was just, it was just more me. So, and I don't have room for a Mark V. You know, I'm not putting something up on this top of this rack here. It's, it's crazy. I don't want that. This is it. So, and I've got a spot in the live room where I could put something. So, you know, if all this stuff sells and I decide, hey, I want to get a little AC30 for in there. That I can, you know, have mics on it and then I can have an AC30 or, you know, a deluxe reverb or a little top hat or something for something like more small. I don't know. We'll see. I, the, somebody's selling an American dream. It's the, the an, it's an old third power and it's like a little weird 112, big 112 combo. I was looking at it though because I had the American dream head. I had one of the first ones that, that, uh, Delaney made and I sold it after years you know you sell things but that that head was killer so who knows you know but I, I haven't been putting out videos and my, and my thought my thought was that I was I wasn't going to put anything out until I was like making tracks to like demo stuff and show things and teach but um, I got this this gig for Saturday so I've been learning like 58 songs um some tricky tunes a lot of top 40 rock and classic rock and a little country man <coughs> i'll send you guys on a journey if you're a guitar player and you want to you want to learn a song that is difficult and 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 mind expanding for guitar learn footloose Learn Footloose. I do not know who plays on that. Let's see. Man, the guitar playing on Footloose is just ridiculous. Footloose who played guitar. <laughs> Kenneth. Kenny Loggins. No, that's not no. Here it is. So everybody but the guitar player? Is this seriously possible? <laughs> it's just like... What? It's all about the guitar and they're not showing a guitar player? 
Wait a second. Nathan East on base. Yeah, the keyboard playing is killer too. Hold on. Huh. How can he log in? Buzz Feetin? What? Wait a second. All right, this is the killing the video here. I'm sorry. But anyway. Yeah, anyway, I, I don't know who did it, but. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been learning all these songs, but. Anyway, so I just wanted to put this out there because today was cool, today was fun, and I just put all this stuff up for sale, and I specified in every single ad, no trades. <laughs> Don't don't call me with, uh, hey, I, I've got uh, some used EL34 tubes and, uh, you know, a metal zone. <laughs> like, no, I don't need anything. <laughs> Unless you got a case of Ernie Ball 10s. <laughs> Maybe I'll trade for that. But anyway, that's it. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep the Helix and then just use that. It sounds great, man. It's The Helix is fine, you know, just for this. But, you know, the Helix, you run into like a little bit of this thing, but it's not as over the top. I mean, the XFX is like, and I've got like, I got a folder of Kemper profiles. I, ne I didn't use it because I'm not like, I don't like to, I don't. If somebody gives me something and I try it and I like it, I go to the, the site and I buy it. I don't want to use free, ripped off, cracked, whatever. You know, I mean, these people spend time and money to make this stuff. But I literally have, I can't make this up. I, I remember the number, 78,000 Kemper profiles. <laughs> so. So if you buy this Kemper off me, you can have a folder with 78,000 profiles, which take about six hours to install. But but if you, but you have to you have to promise me if something you like, you go buy it because you don't want to rip people off. That's bad vibes. So, but that's what it is. It has taken me. I'm 60 years old. It's taken me 60 years. To uh, to realize this, too many choices. I've cut down my guitars. I got rid of a lot of my guitars, and I really just use. I use ninety nine percent of the time. I use three guitars. Check it out. Les Paul, Telly, and Strat, like peanut butter and jelly, and I've got a great, awesome Gretsch. That's that's everything. I sold so many guitars, man. Just. You know, I've got like I've got a, a, a P90 uh, that I have set up. Um, my buddy gave me a PV Forenza, a really nice Forenza, Forenza, a nice guitar, and it's with 11s in open E, and that's what I've been practicing slide with. So, but yeah, you know, if you if you're if you're bored one afternoon and you know you want something to be difficult to do. Learn Footloose. It really is not an easy song to play. It's not easy for me anyway. It's kind of not. Also, it's not how I play. <coughs> so it's like, you know, a stretch. Yeah, here are my set. Here's the set list. It's like a lot of tunes. And you know, I want to. I want to play them well. We do a bust a move. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Oh, I'm singing Ride Like the Wind. That Christopher Cross tune, man. Good Lord. that That's like not... I'm not like... I'm not like genetically designed for that kind of singing. So it's it's a challenge, but it's coming good. And we're doing another hard song on the list. Is Sailing by Christopher Cross. And on the record, it's a triple drop tune. It's like... Like the low is to D, the D is to C, the this is, but it's not like a standard like open D. It's like this, you know, just the tuning they did just for the tune. So, kind of 
put together a little thing that you know so i can do it in standard because i'm not going to sit there and go hey we got one song give me a few minutes it's not gonna work yeah i love the guitars and hurts so good i love the guitar playing and hurts so good uh, it's just it's phenomenal yeah it's just absolutely phenomenal and we do a lot of these like pink house footloose glory days a lot of these are similar kind of like one four one four five like dun, 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 like you know that kind of stuff rocking in the usa what i like about you i i always like that guitar playing i always thought there was some great great i like that sound too you know that like early 80s kind of wrangly thing they did Connor almost reminds me a little bit of like Neil Giraldo, early early Pat Benatar. Shut up and dance with me. A lot of octaves. So anyway, but that's it. So I'm selling it. I'm selling it all and I'm not going back. I just, it's it's not good for me. And the thing is, is that I have everything loaded into this fractal. I have every, I mean, it comes with like 248 amps or some crazy amount of amps, right? And all these cabs and you know, cab lab and you know, this guy and that guy. And, and then I have all my IRs in there. And then I got all the Austin Buddy and, and all this. You know what I always use? The same two profile or presets that I made myself. It's like, it's just, it, it doesn't work for me. I, I'm just not built for this. So, yeah. And I know people are going to say, oh, yeah, but you'll buy them all back in two weeks. I, I don't see that happening. I'm, I'm over it. Because at this point, I mean, if I sell them, it's like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, the, the fractal is close to $3,000. I got the, the MK2 Turbo with the EV1 expression pedal. That's a lot of dough. All of that stuff shipped in tax. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So, shut up and dance with me. This is how we do it. <laughs> Only the good die young. We're also doing like, country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. Mountain ma, ma, mountain. It always says uh, it sounds like Mountain Mama, but it's, I think it's Mountain Mile Mile High Mountain or something. Yeah, you know, little brick house, Mary Jane's Last Dance. There's some nice playing on that. We're also London into all summer long. It's, it's this medley, same same basic tune. Yeah, September. Good God. That's a, that's a tricky tune to play, man. You really got to be a thug with that. So there's the picture. It just looks beautiful. I hope you guys enjoy this. I've been out of the loop because I go through phases where I just can't do this. And I think maybe I should just quit this. And But, you know, it's it's important to me. And I think, it, you know, I think it helps people. And then I have friends on this, right, guys? You know. The last year or two, I've really made a point of replying. Um, for, a lo for a lot of years, I never even knew that there was like a comments tab <laughs> in the por in the portal, right? You know, so I, I didn't, I wouldn't get I wouldn't get replies, and I wouldn't even know. Then I'd open a video of mine, and I'd see all these replies. I'm like, what, what is all this? You know, so yeah. Yeah, we're doing Get Lucky. I'm singing that. I'm singing Just Like Heaven. I'm singing Surrender. Dancing with Myself. Jump. Brick House. Here I Go Again. Little uh, White Snake. I'm singing Uptown Funk, Superstition, and Purple Rain. So they got me on some bangers. Anyway, there you go. Maybe I'll sell all this stuff and go on vacation thinks that's a good idea. Yeah, buddy. Stop recording.